Okay, um, I'm, I'm very nervous um, today, but uh, I'm going to try and get through this because I, I find it's a very important topic. Um, early warning signs that you may be headed for some mental health uh, problems in your life. And the earlier that you get things treated and looked at, the better chance you have at healing yourself. The more you ignore a condition, uh, for example, for my own self, say it starts off with depression and, and sadness that, that you just can't address and you don't know where it's coming from and, 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 you, and you're like, well, I just got to go to work. I can't, I can't not work. And, uh, and you don't address it. Um, that depression could uh, potentially lead into anxiety problems. Uh, I left some notes because I have a very bad memory. So you'll see me looking over here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but it, yeah, the depression left untreated um, could, could lead to, to severe anxiety issues. And then panic attacks and, and, and uh, a bunch of other things. Like all of these different illnesses just exasperate. Um, that's a good word for it. And make your condition a lot worse if you ignore symptoms and that you don't ask for professional help when you first recognize that you're having trouble. And I avoided every red flag for myself. And it led me to where I am right now. So, which is a very lonely, lonely, isolated life. Um, really, really severe social phobias. And for me to come on camera and if this does make it onto YouTube, um, which I am hoping it does, because um, it's a big thing for me. Because uh, the other day, one of the times that I did have to get out, because because I had a very, very bad tooth problem, um, I bumped into some old friends, and they're like, well, where have you been? And, you know, I'm sure there's rumors that went on about me, and, and, and I'm at the point where I don't care, but... Uh, really disturbing was it was a young fellow in the shop my friend's shop and and I had mentioned you know I don't go out much <clears throat> excuse me due to some things that I'm going through and and this young fellow turned around and he said oh, I, I got that really bad I, I have very bad panic issues and and I mean he might he's he's probably late teens early 20s at the most and and that really made me so sad and, and concerned. and so, so that's sort of what gave me the courage to do this video that I'm doing right now. And I told him, um, as kind as I could, and concerned that you, you need to address this. You, you need, you're young, you know, you're a young boy, and you need to see a doctor. And he looked shocked at me like, uh, why was I saying this out of such concern? But again, you could tell that he, he did want to talk to somebody about it. So I did refer him to, to a clinic that I know that, that can help him because I'm not a professional. I've just been through every one of these stages. So the whole point of the video today is, is if you are um, feeling any of these feelings like uh, say you're starting off with overwhelming sadness and depression and don't let it go I mean if it's if it's something that's lingering go to a medical professional and try and nip this in the bud early because other problems will latch on to this left untreated trust me I've been I've lived it I'm a living experience and I'm just as I did the young the, the young fellow the other day I am like trying to warn people and, 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 and help them so that they don't have to go through the living hell that I did and that I still do. So, um, yeah, again, so if you're feeling overwhelming sadness, uh, example here, and, and hopelessness and, and, and just your life sucks so bad, um, that's, that's a sign right there. You know, you need to go and, and talk to somebody. For panic attacks, um, if you're just having panic attacks, just these, these things on one single thing at a time, go and speak to somebody before any of these other nasty things latch onto it. Because once you get them all, it is so much more difficult to come up out of it. Um, for anxiety, okay, uh, 
we, we can all get anxious at times, but for me, I found that it wasn't normal, and I really should have recognized it at the time, because whenever family gatherings were, were, were going to happen, or holidays, or, or, or such, um, I, I would be, I, I'd come down with a sudden illness, like I, because I literally came sick. I, I, I would sweat, um, oh, I just, I just didn't want to go, I just couldn't handle the crowds, and, and, um, and I still do that. So, um, you know, again, I'm a lot different than you, but, like, the whole point of me sitting here right now and shaking, and you probably can't see me shaking, is, is the young fellow I met the other day, and for, if anybody's watching this, don't be ashamed. Don't follow the stigma thing. Oh, um, oh, another thing. Sorry. Postpartum depression, something that I'm really starting to do a lot of reading on. Um, th there seems to be a lot of shame um, behind that also. So we need to really all work together and, and help people to with these stigmas and try and take away the shame so people will want to go and get help when they're feeling down because there is so much help out there and and just because you go and see a doctor does not mean they're going to shove a bunch of drugs down your throat there are so many other um, ways for therapy there's counseling sometimes just talking to somebody about your problems helps you out a bit so my main thing today if I've rambled and because sometimes I have a lot of trouble remembering what I'm saying is once you notice that you're feeling any one of these or several, go and address it before it gets worse. And warning signs, possible progression of mental health issues, mental illness. Um, if you ignore the warning signs or are simply you're not aware, um, of the potential seriousness that that will be caused to you that could be caused to you um, yeah just just go and see a doctor because leaving or ignoring these um, conditions they do get worse so take care of yourself um, I hope I made some level of sense here and uh, and I really wish everybody wellness and happiness and peace and be kind to everyone, people. Please, be kind to everyone. This world is tough enough to live. So human kindness goes a long way. Thank you so much for watching.